Welcome, dear tourists, to the captivating city of Porta La Cruz. Get ready for a delightful adventure through history and beauty. Let's start our journey at the heart of the city, Plaza Bolivar. This bustling square is named after Simone Bolivar, the liberator of several Latin American countries. Marvel at the statue of this great leader while I share a fun fact. Did you know that Simone Bolivar had a pet llama? Yep, a llama named Nevado, who accompanied him on his campaigns. Quite the unusual travel buddy, huh? From Plaza Bolivar, we'll take a short walk to the historical Paseo Colon, a promenade lined with charming colonial-style buildings. Feel the echoes of the past as you immerse yourself in the architecture dating back to the 17th century. Now, don't be surprised if you spot some iguanas casually strolling along the sidewalk. They're like the locals here, always relaxed. Next stop, the dazzling Guaycari Indigenous Museum. This unique place honors the native Guaycari people who once inhabited these lands. Discover their fascinating customs, traditions, and contributions to Venezuela's cultural tapestry. Trust me, it's an eye-opening experience. After a dose of culture, we'll make our way to the enchanting San Juan de las Galdonas Church. This stunning colonial-style church boasts an impressive facade and holds a significant place in the city's religious history. Inside, you'll find intricate religious art and relics from the past. Oh, and speaking of relics, did you hear about the archaeologist who refused to get a smartphone? He said, I prefer to dig up the past, not scroll through it. Chuckles now, let's take a leisurely stroll along the Paseo Miranda, a scenic waterfront boulevard. The sea breeze will invigorate your spirits as you gaze upon the picturesque shoreline and watch fishermen at work. Keep an eye out for seagulls trying to snatch a fish or two they're quite the opportunists. We've built up an appetite, so let's head to the Mercado Municipal. This vibrant market offers a mouth-watering array of local dishes, including the famous Pabellon Criollo, a heavenly combination of shredded beef, black beans, rice, and fried plantains. It's so delicious that it's said to have made some pirates consider switching professions. With our bellies happily full, we'll hop on a boat to the nearby Isla de Plata. This island is a true hidden gem, boasting pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. Take a dip, bask in the sun, or snorkel among colorful marine life. Just don't challenge the dolphins to a race, they always win. And remember to apply plenty of sunscreen. You don't want to go back home looking like a cooked empanada. As our day comes to a close, let's wind down at the stunning Playa El Faro, known for its breathtaking sunsets. The lighthouse stands tall, guiding ships safely into the harbor as we enjoy the spectacular view. Take a moment to reflect on the history, culture, and beauty of Porta La Cruz, a place filled with warmth, laughter, and unforgettable memories. I hope you've had an amazing time exploring Porta La Cruz with me today. From the historical landmarks to the beautiful beaches, this city has so much to offer. As the saying goes, Venezuela is a land of many wonders, and Porta La Cruz is surely one of them. Safe travels and hasta luego.